Good morning from our last day aboard the Disney Dream. It is Saturday, May f or June. It's June, June first. Now. June first. We are back in the port of Barcelona, and all packed up. Had some breakfast. Got some of the uh, snacks from Cove Cafe that yesterday to have for breakfast today, and some fruit. Yes. So aren't going to the regular breakfast because we're gonna try to get off pretty darn soon yes our group has not been called yet yes. but should be getting called fairly soon mm -hmm. and then make our way to the airport and head over to amsterdam so we'll see you there bye disney dream yes Okay, so we have made it to Amsterdam. Yes. Flight was not too bad. No Wi-Fi on our KLM flight. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. Get yourself something downloaded or bring something to do so you're not twiddling your thumbs for two hours. Yeah, not a very long flight. No. But made it to Amsterdam, checked into our hotel. We're staying at the Amsterdam Sheeple Airport Sheraton Marriott Hotel. It's the Sheraton Yes. that as soon as you walk by the train station it's in right the there. airport, we're right here. So wanted something close to make tomorrow very easy. But yeah, all checked in. Room's pretty fancy. Yes. We have like a cupboard of goodies with coffee accoutrements. Yes. But we have to leave the room to get coffee yes we passed a machine that has espresso double espresso hot water Teas. tea bags and then i think it makes hot cocoa as well but yeah all settled in and now we are ready to head out into amsterdam proper taking the train from the airport to downtown and exploring the city a little bit and then we have a canal tour canal boat tour booked so let's go Okay, so we are back in the hotel room after our evening exploring Amsterdam. Yes. Got some delicious uh, Holland fries. With two different types of sauces. Yes. Asked the uh, guy at the checkout what she recommended, and we got some sort of onion sauce. And then, and then their, their standard special sauce. Which is like a mayo based. A Dutch mayo. Yes. Very, very good. Very good size, too, for the price. Yeah, we got a medium, and it was way plenty for two of us. Yes. And then, to get us some protein, we stopped and got some teriyaki chicken. Because when doing some research, we learned that Amsterdam, it really has a very large Asian population. And the place that we went to was actually a local Amsterdam It was local to the Netherlands, it seemed. Okay. When I looked online, it seemed like... They were going to open the location in Barcelona, but was mostly, the website was in Dutch. Several locations were in the Netherlands and the surrounding area, so yeah. walk to go. Yes, walk to go. And then got for dessert some Stroopwafel. Yes. Which was delicious. Long line. Long line. And it was seven euros for plain, eight euros for a Nutella? Yes, a smear of Nutella. I'm only top. half of it. Yes. 
And then, well, it was actually like a quarter of the Stroop waffle. <laughs> um, and then Nutella plus toppings was nine euros. So we ended up going with the traditional plain. Um, it was, was plenty sweet. Yes, very, very good, very sweet. Very cinnamony. Yeah. Which I wasn't really expecting with the caramel in between. Um, but delicious. Also nice to have it warm. Because mm -hmm. it was pretty chilly outside in Amsterdam. Yes. And then after that, we did our uh, canal tour. With wine and cheese. With wine and cheese. Which was really less of a tour and more just like a fun facts on the canal with wine and cheese. There were two types of cheese. Mm -hmm. A newer one and an older one. And we asked her what it was. And it was howda, which we think might be gouda. I don't know. Some of the pronunciations were pretty out there to our American ears. Yes. And at one point, one of the hostesses said, if it sounds like Your a blender, blender, then you're saying it right. Yeah. So. And I know Gouda is popular in this region, so it might be Gouda. Or Gouda's cousin. Right. Very good, though. And served with a mustard that was... So horseradishy. Yeah. It was just... Great. Basically horseradish. So, I guess dip your cheese in horseradish and see about what you think. Yeah. Really, really good though. We pre both preferred the more aged Older, one. Yes. Um, a little more of a bite, but both were very good. Because we're both more mature as well. Yeah. But yeah, the tour was fun. It's cool to see some of the town. It went fast. It went by very fast. And your choice of drinks, they had Merlot, Chardonnay, uh, Pinot, Pinot, Grigio, Rosé, and Sauvignon Blanc is the wines. They had the classic Amsterdam wine of Heineken, or Dutch wine of Heineken. Dutch wine. Um, and as well as like sodas and... Soft drinks. Soft drinks. And they had large water. bottles of water just out for people to drink as well. Yeah. Would recommend the tour. I think it was a good value. I don't remember what I paid, but I'll put that down below. Um, for an hour-long boat tour with unlimited wine and cheese. Unlimited anything you want to drink, plus cheese. So. We learned a bit. We got to kind of go, mm -hmm. well, a Canadian man attempted to flirt with the hostesses. Yeah. It was like, oh, dude, it's not going to happen. But yeah, so that was kind of entertaining. But Amsterdam is a very cool city. We didn't get to fully experience Amsterdam, and we knew we wouldn't. Right. But I'm glad that we got to do what we did and see what we did. And I'm also glad to be back in the hotel for the evening because we need to kind of rotate some suitcases a bit and get ready to go home tomorrow. Yes. So this kind of wraps up our European adventure. It's been going on for so long. But this is kind of the final video since tomorrow is just going to be us going home. So the next video we post will be our kind of trip review slash haul. Didn't get a whole lot, but we did get a few things. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, overall a very busy trip. I feel like we need, a cool. we need a vacation from our vacation to sleep. Yes, it's been so tiring. Yes. So many early mornings and late nights, but we did get to see a ton of cool things. So. France, Barcelona, Rome, Rome Sicily, Cinque Terre, Italy. Yeah. The Mediterranean. All over Italy. And now Amsterdam. Yeah. All in the span of like two weeks. Yeah. So now we gotta go home to the USA, to our cats, and to real life. Yes. For a little bit. Yeah. We've got other stuff coming up, but we'll Indeed. tell you about that later. Indeed. So that will do it for us for today and for this trip. So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. See you real soon. Mm -hmm.